tail of the tape for our next fight. This one is for the WAK1F Baltic title at 67 kilos. Geogi Fight Series 2019 live on GeogiFights.tv. Ladies and gentlemen, next fight, Amadir K1 Baltic title fight. Blue corner, fight representing Lithuania. Artur Stura. I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of very good Lithuania versus Latvia fights here at the KOK Fight Series in Riga. This one's going to be under amateur rules. It's going to be three rounds of two minutes for the Baltic title. And uh, as I said, uh, most of the fights here on the first portion of tonight's event, the KOK Fight Series in Riga, is strictly focused on finding the next generation of fighters and uncovering those fighters. What was so many years ago that we found guys like Giannis Freemanis and Raimondas Auxtikalnis fighting in contests just like this, and they went on to be serious challengers for KOK titles. Could these two guys be the next? Stura, Lithuania. Ladies and gentlemen, the red corner fight representing Latvia, Shamil Jamaldaev. His opponent, the 18-year-old Shamil Jamaldayev, known as Udav, 191 centimeters tall. That is extremely tall for a featherweight. 191 centimeters tall. Man, I'll tell you what, he's, he's gonna have full, full advantage in the height department. So folks, these two getting prepared for this contest, as I mentioned, this one, three rounds of two minutes. It is an amateur rules fight for the Baltic title. So many of the fighters here in, in KOK, especially from this region, from the Baltic countries, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Poland, a lot of these fighters, it, when, when you look at even the top fighters in KOK, guys like Henrikas Fikshreitis, guys like Sergei Maslaboyev, like Mindaugas Norauskas, uh, like uh, Auxtikalnis, a lot of these guys are former Baltic champions. And so it, it's, it's a good start. This is where these guys get a solid foundation in kickboxing before they go on to be world champions as professionals. So the fight series, you have to remember, this is the place for discovering new talent. These are the shows that are going to be organized all over Europe, and not even Europe as we move into 2020, also in Asia as well, and, and wherever KOK. It's a global brand, and so they're always expanding and, and looking for new talent all over the place. 
I mentioned Armenia. There's a lot of other countries that they're looking at as well as far as uh, farther east. It's been uh, speculated and, and they've been trying to work it out so they can go to countries like Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan as well coming up next year. So we'll have to wait and see exactly how that turns out. As you can see, there there is a problem with the ring. There was a, one of the turnbuckles came loose, but I believe they have it under control now. And we will get the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to one Baltic title fight. Fighting out of the blue corner, 19 years old, official height 176 centimeter, official weight 67 kilogram, pro debut, Amadir Ruki One Lithuanian champion, Baltic Cup winner, representing Sparta Gym Lithuania, Artur Stura! Fighting out of the red corner, 17 years old, official height 191 centimeter, official weight 66 kilogram, pro debut, Amadiru K1 world champion, representing Muay Thai Academy, Latvia, Shamil Udav Jamaldaye! Ring referee Tatiana Alekseva, K1 rules, three rounds, two minutes each. Round one. And again, look at how tall and how thin Autors, or excuse me, Shamil Jamal Dayev is. That doesn't seem to bother Artur Stura at all. He's going to be able to use those knees a lot easier. He's going to be able to pull them up to the head without too many problems. You can see just when he's almost, he had to look like he was just going to check a kick there. His knee was already up in his face. Look at the snap and the pop and the punches that time of Stura. Stura represents the Sparta Gym, which currently has two champions here in KOK. In the lightweight division, Henrikas Vikstreitis, and in the light heavyweight division, Sergei Maslaboya. Head kick goes in and bounces off the temple that time by Jamalaida. Well, I heard a lot about these these two guys and how much potential they have. Oh, backing him up now with powerful shots. Thirty seconds now. Again, these are two-minute rounds. This is an amateur contest, but and they are wearing protection they're wearing padded shin guards but i wouldn't be surprised if somebody gets the ko here the way these guys are swinging holy smoke oh he caught him with a left around the corner clean time an action-packed opening round Have another look, folks, that round number one. Outdoor Stura and Shamil Jamaldeev. Lithuania versus Latvia in this Baltic title fight at 67 kilos. Certainly Stura holding nothing back. He knows that he has got to take the fight right to Jamaldea because he cannot just afford to hang out on the outside. He won't even be able to land anything. Second round. 
second round. Here we go again. You can see though that Jamaldeev certainly has the power of his own. Oh my, look at this! Cutting down the ring and really opening up now. Locks that knee. Keep in mind, folks, this is the WA K1F. That is the World Amateur K1 Federation. So this is not just some small-time rinky-dink title that they're fighting for. This is the top amateur title in this region. Of course, it is the Baltic title. But later on, we will also see the WAK1F world title up for stakes. Look at that rapid fire shot by Stura. Stura certainly showing that he has absolutely no quit in him whatsoever. Say what you expect this kid just to throw one or two or three shots and he just keeps going. He's got some blood though now coming out of the nose. Tie! End of round two. Holy cow, these guys never take a minute off. Not even a second. Bushido Angels, let us know that round three is coming up before we get there. Let's take a look at round number two, a very action-packed fight here. Three rounds of two minutes means non-stop action, and that's exactly what we're getting here. Seems to me like Sura may be a little bit ahead on the cards. Look at the sheer volume of punches. Final and here round. we go. Round number three. The final round underway. A tricky little knee landed on the inside there by Jamal Daev. There's that knee again. Oh, my! He got caught with the left and he got backed up all the way into the ropes. Halfway across the ring. Studa's got some serious power here. But I, I would love to see this kid fight as a professional. He's already 19 years old. Why not? Because, oh, did he let it rip? He let the right hand rip that time. Jumping knee block on the gloves. You can see that in that top rope is still a little bit wobbly. Solid leg kick. There's another good knee. But again, those very heavy-handed punches and long combinations of Alto Stura. Well, the coach of Stura telling him, look, the seconds are ticking away. You've got to get busy. You've got to keep doing what you were doing. And he is doing it. He's listening now. Blocked on the gloves, but that one had some scary power behind it. The knees, though, I love the knees of the Latvian. You can see the effects on the midsection in the upper abdominal region. There's another knee. Back to work, though. Tagging the body, and this time goes upstairs. There's the knee again. Final seconds. 
A lot of those shots not landing cleanly, though. They're landing on the arms. Die! Will they be counted under these amateur rules? Jim, very satisfied when this fight came to an end. They think that he's got it. I'd be hard pressed to disagree. This kid he's these long machine gun like combinations of his may have been enough to steal this thing. As I said, a lot of them weren't landing cleanly though. So under these amateur rules, how exactly is that going to be scored? A lot of those punches were landing on the arms. To congratulate the fighters, I would like to invite the president of King of Kings, Mr. Donata Simonaitis, and representative KOK in Latvia, Sony Shakis. So the championship being brought into the ring right now by Donatas Simonaitis, the president of KOK Global and local promoter here in Latvia as well, Saulis, in to award the championship belt to the winner. Ritas Kuzmenka has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Amatir Ruki won Baltic title fight. Now I will announce the decision of each judges. Judge one, Artur Stura. Judge two, Shamil Jamaldayev. Judge three, Shamil Jamaldayev, Latvia. Ladies and gentlemen, Amadir Ruki won Baltic champion. Red corner, Shamil Jamaltaev, Latvia. I was wondering about that scoring. Is this a hometown decision or did it come down to the fact that this is an amateur rules contest and those punches, those, those high volume punches were not landing cleanly, whereas the knees, which are high scoring techniques, we're landing regularly. I'll leave it up to you to make that decision, folks. We'll be right back with our next fight in just a moment. We, we, 